He had a lot of trouble breathing and was very anxious about that. Very anxious about dying, very anxious about what are things happening to him. It ended up getting to the point where he would call the office and say, I just need to talk to Jenny. He was nervous on telling his family. So he asked if myself and the social worker could be there and was able to express it and to have his family accept it. My name is Jenny Bradley. I am a registered nurse case manager with Bayada Hospice in Burlington, Vermont. I met Craig when he moved back home to be closer to family after he had already been on hospice services. He had COPD and wearing oxygen continuously, suffered from extreme anxiety um, related to his shortness of breath and his disease. So he worried a lot. And Jenny Bradley was the nurse who met my uncle and he immediately felt a sense of relief and her presence. Slowly we were able to build that trusting relationship and talk about any number of things in a non-judgmental environment. My uncle called and he was crying. He was very anxious, very scared. So I called and um, Jenny with no hesitation and just sincere concern um, responded and headed to see my uncle. Um, and I called him back and he was so grateful and knowing that it was Jenny, his nurse, who knew him well, he would take good care of him. I saw him within the last week of his life and um, we were sharing a moment. He was in bed at this point and um, he pulled out the check that he had written. He made it out to the Bayada Foundation and felt that it was really important that the money went to something that was tied to Jenny. He really trusted her. We're grateful for that. You know, it's this big award and it means a lot, but I think what matters to me the most and what means the most for it is I got nominated by family members that I came into their life and, and made a difference. I had this one woman and she got agitated towards the end of life, which is common. And her daughter would call me and say that she left the building crying because She's never seen her mother like that, and it's not who she's used to. And, you know, I was able to talk with her and we were able to adjust her medicines. And the next time I saw the woman, she was walking with her mom and her mom is laughing and she gives me a thumbs up. Um, and then she pulled me aside later on and she said with tears, you know, I got my mom back today. It's for a little bit, but I didn't think I would get her back at all. And that's why I love what I do.